Number 15, a 5'9 junior. Randy Oyen will start at center for Del Rapids, number 44, 6'4 senior, and at center for Custer, Huey Clemens, 33, 6'5 junior. For the Quarriers at guard, Mike Heinricher, number 22, a 5'10 senior, Kurt Vinacam, number 41, a 5'9 junior for Custer. And for the other uh, guard position for Del Rapids, Randy Markley, number 34, a 6'1 senior, and Doug Herman, number 45, a 6 foot 3 inch freshman, Doug Herman. Larry Luchins, coached by uh, the coach of Custer, and Gary Crone, the coach of Del Rapids. And working this ball game, John Saltzieler and Dale Weber, and before that, the playing of our national anthem by the Kimball High School Band, and Miss Carol Ackerman, and the Yankton Bicentennial Group is going to Pro uh, provide the escort for the colors. impressive presentation of our colors and the playing of the national anthem by the Kimball High School Band under the direction of Carol Ackerman, the Yankton Bicentennial Group. This was a little special added feature this year for the state tournament and is certainly a very thoughtful one by our South Dakota High School Activities Association and I think perhaps, Bill, one that may uh, be quite appropriate at every championship game and ensuing state tournament. It looks very, very nice and uh, Certainly a tribute to these young people for their efforts here this evening. Well, this is it. As they say, the big one all for the marbles. The Custer Wildcats and the Del Rapids Quayers in the title game of the 1976 South Dakota State Class B Basketball Tournament. Del Rapids in the light jerseys, Custer in the yellow, gold, Huey Clemens, Randy Oyen will jump. Referee John Saltzeder will toss it up. Working with him tonight is Dale Weber and Mount Vernon. It's underway at the Sioux Falls Arena. Del Rapids, Henricher, Brett Yeoman. And watch this. Yeoman fires in and out. Rebound, Clemens lost it out of bounds. So we'll watch, and I'm sure that Custer will continue this harassing pressure-packed defense that they have employed throughout the tournament. 
Oh, and underneath the yeoman, and it won't hold for him again. Mr. Couple. Clemens pulls it off the iron, gives to Ted Bryant. Plus to a couple of fine guards and Bryant and Weber. Here's Clemens, and he's fouled by Oyen. Two shots, first team foul. We see just a scattering of seats here and there tonight. Of course, it's a sellout, but some people perhaps uh, unable to uh, take advantage of having their championship game ticket tonight. At the line, Huey Clemens, 6'5", junior. Two shots. And Custer draws first blood in this skirmish here tonight. It's 1-0. We have played 30 seconds of the first quarter. Study of concentration there on this young man. And it's 2-0 as Clemens converts both. There's that pressure defense in the backcourt. Brian Davis is at a tremendous tournament. Up to Henricher. Goes over to Oyen. Bob was the ball momentarily. Comes back to Randley Mark. He had a great semifinal game last night. Marches it up. It's 2-2. Two -two. Markley starting off like he ended up last night shooting well. Foul on Yeoman. He hooked. Number 45, Doug Herman. This will be a non-shooting foul. That's the second team foul against Del Rapids. There you see Larry Luchin, the coach of the Custer Wildcats. Oh, he's... wonder where he found that shirt. I have to kid him about that. That's... He's dressed up pretty fancy tonight. We get a shot of Gary Crone. He's got one just about like it, Jim. Both very fine young men, of course, and handling these young people. Both very calm coaches on the bench, actually. Never see Larry bouncing around too much, except when he gets up to talk to the players. Another spinning jumper by Clemens. Basket. Lost a pair of glasses. We had a whistle. Basket will count. And the foul is on, on Randy Oyen, draws his second. Clemens will be at the line to shoot one to try to make it a three-point play. The glasses fell to the floor. We're off the bridge of the nose of Ted Bryant. Six fifty-one to play in the first quarter. It's a four-two game. Custer Huey Clemens at the line with a one-shot free throw. Takes a lot of time. Eyes it. Misses this one. Rebound by Herman. Up. Got it. Six-two. Custer. Brian Davis crossed the line to Markley. Guarded there by Ted Bryant. On the wing to Henricher. Looks for Oyen. Oyen got it, hooks it up, won't go, and he's fouled by Clemens. First team foul against Custer. And we've got a dandy matchup inside going already between Clemens and Oyen. Already three fouls between the two. Inbounds pass to Yeoman. Good outside shooter. Brian hooks it up and a foul is called on Clemens. Picks up two in a row. This will be a shooting foul. Bill, you said that uh, these are two of the poorer records in the tournament, which is very true. But I have to feel whoever wins this will be a very deserving championship because both have had just, just super tournaments. I certainly didn't mean to cast any. No, I know you did, but team. I want to take it a step further. Shot is up by Brian Davis, and he misses. This one falls off, misses them both. Rebound by Herman. Goes off to Camp. Herman over to Bryant. Rod Weber drives in, hooks it up, won't fall. Rebound is tipped, going to be handled by Henricher. Randy Oyen lost it out of bounds. 5.54 to play in the first quarter. 
The Big B brought to you by your local Standard Oil leaders, Max Pasley Distributor, and your Sony dealer by Zip Feeds, the brand you can trust, the producers of Pioneer Seed Corn, and by Gifford Hill Irrigation, second to none. Custer on the attack, lob pass underneath the Herman, up and in. Herman, fine athlete, 6'3", and only a freshman. Young ball club, Custer. The only senior in the starting lineup is Rod Weber, number 11. Randy Oyen hits his first part of the game. We have an 8-4 game, Custer. Ted Bryant. Being a camp, long shot. He can hit these kind. And he proved it there. Baseline shot from deep. 10-4, Custer. Coming down to the five-minute mark remaining in the first period. Timeout has been called by Dell Rapids. 5.04 to play first quarter. Custer leads 10 to 4. Your local Zip dealer has a new program for you livestock producers. It's called Quality for Less. What it means to you is a positive step in improving the profits of your operation. What it means to your Zip dealer is providing you with the best feed nutritionally at the least cost. What it means to Zip is another way of working with you both for a better way of life, with quality for less from the brand you can trust. Custer breaking huddle there with Coach Larry Luchens. And Jim, they're red hot in the first three minutes. They've hit four or five from the floor. Henricher brings it in bounds, and it's intercepted by Venacamp. They're on the run. Venacamp goes over to Bryant. Traveled, hesitated, didn't know whether to pass off or start the dribble, and by that time it was too late. Davis up to Henricher across the timeline. Over to Brett Yeoman, forces the shot up, and he spins away. He's missed three in a row like that. Rebound, Bryant. Custer running all the way and goes Bryant, layup, no good, rebound. Up and in, no good, wouldn't climb over the rim. And a foul is called on Clemens, his third on the second rebound. We have action at the Custer bench. Number 43, Jack Lundy will check in. And he'll replace Huey Clemens. Custer, or uh, Del Rapids puts it in play now. This is Yeoman. Vena Camp racing with him. Cross it goes to Davis, or to Markley. Two in a row by Markley from there. 10 to 6, Custer. Markley's fourth point. Way over the head of the 25, Dave Evans, who also came into the timeout. Randy Markley. Shot up by Markley. Oh. The glass is good. And he's keeping uh, Del Rapids in the ball game right now. 10 to 8, Custer. That was as pretty a shot as you'll ever want to see. Lob pass underneath the Herman. He got it in there. That's worked about three times now for him. Herman with six points. Yeoman, bounce pass underneath the Oyen. Easy. Oyen with four. And they exchange baskets here with 3.38 to go in the first quarter. Red Hot Championship game. Vena Camp. Can't turn him loose either. Underneath. Herman again. Climbs in. Called for traveling. Rod Weber will check back in for Custer. And Ted Bryant moves to the bench for a rest. Inbounds to Davis. Across the timeline. Bounce pass to Markley. Got it again. Eight points for Markley. They'll have to sag him out of there. Here comes Weber. 12-12 now. Evans. And a foul will be called on whom? Markley, I believe, yes. His first fourth team foul against Del Rapids. Brian Beecher checks in, and Weber goes out for Custer as... Coach Larry Luchens has not 
left his usual style of uh, substituting here. Vina Camp. Long shot is up by, ooh, in and out, a wooden hole for Doug Herman. Rebounded by Dell Rapids. Brian Davison control. Off to Markley. There's a steal and going to be taken by Beecher. To Lundy. Off to Vina Camp. Lundy on the wing. Top of the key to Beecher. Favorite spot for Vina Camp. Rolls off. Rebound Markley for Dell Rapids. 12 12 game, 220 to play in the first quarter. Markley tries to get Beecher to leave his feet, but was unsuccessful with that fake shot. Davis up, no good. Oyen with a follow shot, and Dell Rapids has its first lead, 14 to 12. Davis. Oyen, six point. Vina Camp comes outside to Herman. Dave Evans puts it up, no good. Rebound, fought for, who comes out with a jump ball? Randy Markley and uh, Jack Lundy will jump at the Custer uh, circle. When Huey Clemens went out of the ballgame with his third foul, it was 10-4 Custer. Right now it's 14-12 Del Rapids. So uh, Jim, the Wildcats having a little bit of problem in the middle. Here's the tip. That'll be handled by Brian Davis of Del Rapids. Pass comes up to Yeoman. Oyen spins, shoots, good. Eight points for Oyen. Four point lead for Del Rapids, 16 to 12. Vena Camp across the timeline. Bounce pass to Herman, goes into the lane, puts it up, and it's falling for him. Eight points for Herman. Pass all the way up to Markley, drives the lane, arches it up, and it's falling. Ooh, that hook. Nice soft shot off the glass. Ten points for Markley. Vena Camp. In the corner to Evans. Herman. Deflected it out of bounds. Bryan will check in. Beecher out for Custer. Rod Weber back in for Custer. Lundy went out and Evans went out. Yeoman. Lead pass comes up to Markley underneath the Oyen. Got it in there. Worked well against the press that time. And a six-point lead for Dow Rapids now. 20 to 14 with 35 seconds to play in the half. Herman over to Weber. Lundy. I think we said Lundy went out. He did not go out. He's still in there. Just handle the ball. Here's Bryan in for the layup. Drives that baseline good. 16, 20 to 16. 10 seconds. We'll have to hurry to get the shot away with five. Markley, long shot. And he was hacked by Bryant. Two shot free throw for Markley. Jim, I don't know if our cameras can get a shot of isolation of Randy Markley or not, but he's just a picture basketball player. Uh, uh, something that uh, everything he does looks good, even if it's a mistake. He's just so smooth. Second shot, good by Markley. 21 to 16, two seconds to play. Vina Camp just throws a wildly. End of the first quarter. Del Rapids 21, Custer 16. Before you pick up your seed corn this spring, go over the facts from last fall. Remember the hybrids that made the most of a tough season and the ones that didn't. Check with your neighbors. You will find Pioneer hybrids were consistently best again. In fact, in over 1,500 on-farm comparisons, Pioneer hybrids averaged nearly $20 more income per acre than competitive hybrids. You can't afford to overlook the facts. Plant Pioneer corn this spring. Pioneer. 
Your Standard Oil dealer is proud to take part in the South Dakota basketball tournaments. Stop by and say hello to these participating basketball promoters. Our job is service that's ready and right. We're there with repairs to keep you running right. Our job is you, and we won't forget it. You expect more from Standard, and we'll see that you get it at Standard. Our job is you. Start of the second quarter, jump ball. It's going to be handled by Venacamp. Traveling. Jim quickly, uh, the Coyers hit only one of their first four shots in that first period, but then went on a rampage. They only missed one more the rest of the quarter. Wound up 72% shooting 10 of 14. Custer right behind at 7 of 13, 54%. There's a steal and a foul before it saved a basket. As Weber goes in for the shot, makes it, but it will not count. The foul was on Henricher. Offensive foul, no shooting foul. That's the fifth team foul, however, against Del Rapids. Brett Yeoman cut off there by Lundy. Oyen isolated in the corner, got it. And the Warriors continue their hot shooting. Oyen and Markley has done all the scoring for Dell Rapids. Shot up, no good. Rebound picked off by Yeoman. Seven point lead for Dell Rapids, the biggest spread, 23 16. Yeoman, bounce pass, save made by Davis in the corner, drives into the lane, shoots off the glass, it's holding. Hoyer's red hat. Everything has bounced right for Dell Rapids. Here's Vena Camp. Lundy at the top of the key. Weber. Vena Camp from the baseline. He line drive that one through the string. 25 18. Randy Markley, dogged by Bryant, goes all the way out of the baseline. In the lane too long. Here's the final score in the Class A Section 5 championship tonight. Mitchell defeated Madison 53 to 36 to move into the State A tournament next week. And you know what that means, Bill? We picked seven out of eight in the section championships. Pretty good pick, Jim. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> we only missed Rabbit City Stevens. Douglas sneaked in there. But they got a good ball club, we understand. Jump shot up and good by Dave Evans. 25-20 Del Rapids. Foul will be called on Evans. That's the fifth team foul against Custer. Both teams in the one-on-one -on -one situation now. Mitchell will be playing Yankton in the first game in the State A next week. That's the wind-up game of the first round. It'll be Sioux Falls, Lincoln, and Douglas in the opener. Miller against uh, Brookings. Aberdeen Central against Spearfish. Henrich with the free line. Shooting the one and one. Got it. Earns the bonus. And Bill, I can't resist this in our bicentennial year. Lincoln-Douglas debate, first game of the tournament. That had to come. That just had I to couldn't come. I couldn't hold it back any longer. And you heard it right here the first time yesterday afternoon. All right, Kelloland will bring you all the championship round action of the State Class A Classic. Long shot by Evans, bingo! Woo, way out in left field. Four points for Evans on two quick ones, 27-22, Dells by five. 5.50 to play here in the first half. Davis, out to Yeoman. Davis at the top of the circle. He hit it. Vina Camp on the attack for Custer. Over to Lundy at the top of the key. Weber, the corner to Vina Camp. Long shot, Vina Camp. Little hard off the rim. Rebound of the lane, Lundy. He puts it up. Rolling off the rim. Rebound. We're going to have a foul on whom? Number 
25, Dave Evans. Number 30, 15. Tom Monk is checking in for Dell Rapids and Markley getting a rest. Foul is on Bryant and not Evans. One and one for Brett Yeoman. He has scored us tonight. Yeoman's had a total of 37 points. I believe the leading score in the tournament probably in coming into this game. Custer's done a good job defensively so far on him. Shot up, no good. Rebound tipped, going to be handled by Davis. Fires it up, got it. The Coyers, who were 10 of 14 from the floor in the first quarter, are now 4 of 4 in the second quarter. Six points. Reflected out of bounds, it'll be Custer's ball. Number 35, Brian Beecher checks back in for Custer. Lundy will come out. The Coyers are shooting 78% from the floor right now. Vena Camp will put the ball in play. 4.59 to play in the half. Comes outside to Dave Evans. Over to Herman and now underneath all alone. Bryant stuck in the back door that time. <clears throat> they left her unlocked. Davis to Monk. Back out to Yeoman. 20 footer. Good. Oh, boy, oh boy. That's his first shot. Are they hot? Or first basket, we should say. 33-24. Long shot, Vena Camp. He banged her in. That's not bad shooting either. Custer, I was just going to say, is shooting about 55% uh, clip. Oh, Foul on Bryant. Bryant will check out. That's his third foul. Clemens picked up three quick ones in the first period. One and one for Davis. Gets the bonus shot. No good. Rebound. Brett Yeoman knocked out of his hands. He gains possession. <laughs> Weber deflected out of bounds by Markley, who came in at the, uh, doing the free throw shooting. Vina Camp will put it in play to Evans. Over to Herman, now to Vina Camp. Evans in the middle to Herman, hooks it up good as Brent Yeoman fell down. He wanted some help the official that time. That's 10 points from Herman. 34-28, Dells by six. 3.40 to play in the half. Yeoman, the top of the key to Markley. Now to Oyen. Oyen blocked by Herman. Out of bounds to Dell Rapids. Vina Camp, a junior, Herman, a freshman, Clemens, a junior, and Ted Bryant, a junior. Um, uh, four out of the five starters underclassmen for Custer. Here's Oyen up. Good. Brian Davis, a junior, is the only junior. Otherwise, four seniors starting for Dell Rapids. Vina Camp, shot up, good. Oyen with 14 points down this game. This is one of his best scoring efforts. Vina Camp with eight. Coming down to the three by the mark in the half, 36-30. Del Rapids out in front. South Dakota State Class A basketball tournament. Here's Markley up to Oyen. No good. Rebound picked off by Evans. Or uh, beg your pardon, Beecher. Now off to Evans. Beecher, left wing, it goes to Weber. Knocked out of the hands of Herman by Markley. Oyan and now to Brett Yeoman. Two and a half to play in the first half. Davis traveling, called on Davis. That evens up the turnovers at six apiece. 
Timeout, Dell Rapids, 2.27 to play of the half. It's Custer 30, Dell Rapids 36. There is one truly unique accomplishment in pivotal sprinkler systems, a computer-designed water pattern that distributes water evenly so you farm more efficiently. It's only available on Gifford Hills 360, the most sophisticated system anywhere. And Gifford Hills 360 is available right now. Gifford Hills 360, it's the only one of its kind. Well, as they say, sometimes we save the best for last, not only the championship game, but this is by far the greatest shooting we've seen in this tournament. Custer with their last basket, up their percentage in the second quarter to 70%. Del Rapp is just a bit under 70%, 66 at six of nine here in the second period. Vena Cap in control for Custer, throws it up and it won't hold for him. Tipped up by Bryant, or by Weber, no good. We'll have a jump ball of the rebound. Brian Beecher will jump against Randy Markley with the Custer circle. Here's the tip, going to be controlled by Weber. Vena Camp at the top of the key now to Evans. Er, uh, Evans driving now, shoots. Does the basket count? It does. Now was on Monk, number 30. His first. Evans at the line. Trying to make it a three-point play with 2.05 remaining in the half. No good. Rebound Oyen right underneath. Off to Brett Yeoman. Yeoman being chased by Lundy. Tipped away and stolen by Weber. Fast break and re-stolen now by Randy Markley. Long shot Markley, short of the rim, rebound. Monk puts it up and good, and a foul will be called on Weber. Basket counts. So Monk will try to make it a three-point play for Del Rapids. And we have number 43, Jack Lundy checking in. And uh, Evans going out. So for Custer now, we have Vena Camp, Herman, Weber, Beecher, and Lundy. No good, rebound, Vena Camp. Minute 35 to play in the half. 38 32, Del Rapids by six. Jump shot is up and good by Jack Lundy. Markley. Oh. Yeoman. Little long. Oyen rebounds in the corner with the loose ball. Back out to Markley. Tipped away. Going to be taken by Beecher. Traveling called on Herman. So they... Got possession of the basketball by good defensive play and then gave it up. Henricher comes in. Monk goes out for Dell Rapids. Yeoman will put it in play in the forecourt for the Warriors. Coming down to the one-minute mark remaining in the first half. 38-34 Dell Rapids. Foul is called on Herman that picks up his first foul. One and one for Oyen. First time of the line. He has seven field goals for 14 points. He's well over his average of only 10 a game. Unusually good shooting game here tonight for Oyen. Fifteen points for Oyen. He'll try for 16 here. No good. Tipped around. Going to be handled by Beecher for Custer. Over to Venecamp. Under a minute to play now in the first half. In the corner to Weber. To Herman, jump, shoots, off the heel of the rim. Rebound, grabbed by Davis. Off to Randy Markley. Hooks a pass over to Davis. Now to Henricher. Drives into the lane, lost the ball. Made the save, Oyen puts it up. <laughs> well, you can't beat luck, I'll tell you. They had to luck out there. 
18 seconds to play. First half, 41 34. Then a cap back pedaling with that dribble. Weber to Lundy. Weber over to Benekamp, looks at the clock. Long shot, Venekamp off the heel of the rim. Rebound. Barkley throws it up court at the buzzer. The end of the first half. Del Rapids 41, Custer 34. This man's family wanted a new color TV, a Sony Trinitron. But this Sony Trinitron cost about $50 more than a regular TV. So to make up the difference, his kids agreed to pay a nickel every time they watched. The difference will be paid off in less than a year. But Sony's super bright colors and crisp picture will be theirs for years to come. It's an investment. It's a Sony Trinitron. I want a receipt. See Sight and Sound Emporium, your Sony dealer in Lewis Eastgate, Sioux Falls, Modern Electric Vermilion, or Communication Specialists in Brandon. Your Zip dealer works hard to maintain more quality for you in his feed program. Our Zip Hog Mixer 40% is based on quality. Our customers consistently finish their hog sooner and in better shape. There is a proven difference in feeding programs. And now a difference in price. And that means a bigger profit with the same high quality you've come to expect from Zip, the brand you can trust. We're going to have the presentation now of the medals for the uh, fifth and sixth place. Hamlin Chargers. Doug Strandy. Doug Strandy will get, pick up his medal for the uh, Hamlin Chargers, ranked number one. This is Wally Gustafson. Mike Stevenson is next. Mark Prouty. Mike, Mark Prouty. Brian Jacobson. Brian Jacobson. Brad Zimprich. Brad Zimprich. John Brown. Mike Popham. Mike Popham. Dwayne Jutenen. Dwayne Jutenen for the Hamlin Chargers. Dean Jacobson. Dean Jacobson. They wound up with the sixth place trophy. Laverne Tetzloff. Laverne Tetzloff. Randy Tashner. Randy Tashner. Roger Lucan, the student manager. And Dick Basinger. Winding up a great coaching career. This is his last coaching job. He's retired now after this tournament. Dick Basinger of the Hamlin Chargers. Ranked number one during the season and finished up in sixth place in the tournament. Now the Ipswich Tigers. Tim Omland, Bob Hamrick, Barney Williams. Barney Williams, these are for Mike Ipswich, Hamrick. Mike Hamrick, Tim Gillick, Tim Gillick. Wes Wolf, Jim Morgan. Jim Morgan for the Ipswich Tigers, Len Brown. Len Brown. Harry Stoner. Bob Davis. Bob Davis. Randy Hine. Randy Hine. Gary Williams. Gary Williams. To the manager, Mark Fisher. Mark Fisher, the student manager. Now the Ipswich coach, Dave Bauer. Will Dave Bauer for the Ipswich Tiger coach. Pick up the trophy. Who wound up tonight losing to uh, Freeman 74 64, so they got the fourth place position. The final tournament standings were ranked number two during the regular season. Wilmot Wolves, the consolation champions. Last year they wound up in seventh place. Dennis Butler. Jim, Jeff Jurgens. Myron Temple. Albert Snyder. 
Albert Spider. Rick, Rick Amon. Pat Deshadas. Matt Schaefer. Kevin Peterson for the Wilmot Wolves Constellation Champions. Joe Mandan. Joe Mandan. Tell us Waddell. Mike Berwitz. Student manager. Now here to receive the Constellation Championship trophy is the Wilmot coach, Dana Dahlquist. Dana Dahlquist, the Wilmot coach and winner of the Constellation Championship for this 1976 tournament for the Wilmot Wolves. And now we'll have the introduction of last year's state champions, the Freeman Flyers. Winners of third place this year. Mike Waltner. Kent uh, Miller. Keith Massey. Keith Massey. Kerry Collar. Dave Jones. Dave Jones. Brad Fletcher. Brad Fletcher. Barry Glanzer. Barry Glanzer. Galen Barta. Galen Barta. Kurt Wallman. Kurt Wallman. Clay Van Osdell. Clay Van Osdell. Here's Kent Mendel. John Arendt. John Arendt. Student manager, Randy Hofer. Randy Hofer, the student manager. And Ron Bennett, the coach of the Freeman Flyers, to pick up the third place trophy for Freeman. Last year's champions ranked number three during the regular season, and they wound up with a third place trophy in the tournament. Okay, we'll be back with more of the State B championship game with Del Rapids leading at half. 41-34 over Custer back in just a moment. Right about now, you spend a lot of time thinking about corn. What insecticides and herbicides should you use? How heavy should you fertilize? What are the best hybrids to plant? We don't have all the answers, but if you plant Pioneer, at least you'll know you have the best hybrids working for you. Pioneer hybrids have a performance record that's tough to match, and they're backed by the world's largest corn research program. So when you think performance, think about Pioneer. Let's take a close look at this new car engine and see how lead-free Amoco gasoline can help make spark plugs last up to 30,000 miles. Amoco eliminates plug fouling from lead, lengthens plug life in older cars too. Amoco does more than just make your car run. It cuts maintenance costs. We're the lead-free leader. At Standard, our job is you. At Standard, our job is you. Okay, Dells is back out. Here come the Custer Wildcats. Okay, we'll look at the individual scoring in the first half. For the Del Rapids Couriers, topping the scoring, Randy Oyen with 17, 7 for Brian Davis, two, 11 for Randy Markley, two apiece for Brett Yeoman, uh, Mike Heinricher, and uh, Tom Monk. And they had 67% uh, from the field, 18 out of 27, 5 of 12 from the free throw line, and 42%. Now for the Custer Wildcats, trailing 41-34 here at halftime. Topping the scoring, Doug Herman with 10, eight for Kurt Vinacamp, four apiece for uh, Huey Clemens and Ted Bryant, six for Dave Evans in a good reserve role, and Jack Lundy chipped in with two. They hit 55% from the field, 16 out of 29, and only two out of four from the free line for 50%. So both teams shooting well here in the first half of this championship battle. We'll be back with a tip-off for the second half right after this message. There is one truly unique 
unique accomplishment in pivotal sprinkler systems, a computer-designed water pattern that distributes water evenly so you farm more efficiently. It's only available on Gifford Hills 360, the most sophisticated system anywhere. And Gifford Hills 360 is available right now. Gifford Hills 360, it's the only one of its kind. Well, the field is all set for the State A next week. Mitchell defeated uh, Madison tonight, 53-36. So Mitchell will be playing the last game of the first round of action next week in the A against the Yankton Bucks. And uh, first round pairings are all set now to open the tournament Thursday afternoon. Sioux Falls, Lincoln against Douglas. Second game, Miller will take on Brookings. In the evening section, first game, Aberdeen Central meeting Spearfish and the Yankton Bucks against the Mitchell Colonels. Bill, for those interested in the Iowa Girls State Basketball Tournament, Cedar Rapids, Washington defeated uh, Andrew 91 to 72 for third place, or 91 72 for third place tonight. In the championship game at halftime, Manila leads Lakeview Auburn 22 to 21. And right here, so we start the third period of the 1976, the 42nd annual South Dakota State Class B Basketball Classic. It's Del Rapids leading Custer 41 to 34. Del Ra Custer in the gold jerseys, Del Rapids in the white. Oyen jumping against Huey Clemens who set out much of that first half as he picked up three early fouls is back in there. Yeoman a long shot by Henricher, way short. Rebound underneath by Davis, hooks it up, no good. Follow shot, no good. Tipped up again, no good. A battle for the rebound has come down with Markley, fires. It's no good. And finally, Weber pulls it down for Custer. Dell Rabbit's got about three or four shots, and Brian Davis claps his hands in disgust coming up court. Long shot, Vena Camp, too strong. Rebound, Markley for Dell Rapids. Action fast paced here in the first 30 seconds of this quarter. Brett Yeoman. Davis rolling in. Caught the lip of the rim. Biggest lead, 43 34. Bryant, Huey Clemens shoots over to Oyen. Oyen got him. Oyen picks up his third foul. First team foul, but Clemens will be at the line to shoot a pair. I think the question a lot of people in the Sioux Falls Arena are asking right now can the Del Rapids Warriors, who have played two and a half games of absolutely phenomenal basketball, play for one more quarter? And the same thing, Custer, who has had two and a half great games, can they play catch up? Mankato State won the North Central Conference indoor track meet at uh, Northern Iowa today with 98 points. North Dakota State was second with 47. Neither shot made by Huey Clemens. Those free throws are all important. Brad Yeoman, a bounce pass, comes over to Markley. In the corner to Henricher, taken away from him by Weber. Behind the back dribble and a leaping pass over to Bryant. Behind the circle to Herman. And to Weber again. Huey Clemens had to go high. He's triple team, gets it up, no good. Rebound, Oyen. Little elbowing in there. Off to Davis. Played a minute and a half of the second of the third quarter. Davis. Intercepted pass by Herman to Bryant. Now to Vena Camp. Goes into the lane. Double team to take it away from him by Henricher. Turnover by Vena Camp. Over to Markley. Markley lost it, almost stolen by Vena Camp. Venacamp's got good quick hands. Oyen sliding away from Clemens underneath. And it's 45 to 34, the biggest lead, 11 points for Dell Rapids. Bryant over to Venacamp. Behind the circle to Herman. Weber fires. In and out, no good. Davis down to Yeoman. Dell Rapids doing a good job in the board. Just Davis up, good. And a foul will be called on Clemens. Draws his fourth foul. 
Mankato State won 11 events and ran away with the North Central Conference Indoor Meet at Cedar Falls today, scoring 98 points. North Dakota State 47, South Dakota State 37 was third, UNI fourth with 35, USD fifth with 17. Timeout, the score, Del Rapids 47, Custer 34. Sony makes tape recorders. Sony makes quality tape recorders. One like this went with our astronauts on the moon flights. Now, you may not be going to the moon just yet, but Sony tape recorders work fantastically well right here in Siouxland. There's a Sony tape recorder to suit your needs at your Sony dealer. See Ruse TV service, your Sony dealer in Mitchell, Scotch TV in Sioux Falls, Dale's Firestone in Flandreau, or communication specialists in Brandon. Ryan Davis trying to make it a three-point play here, and he does. Del Rapp is taking a commanding 14-point lead now with 5.34 to play in the, fourth, in the third quarter. Benekamp over to Bryant. Foul called on Henricher. Picks up his second, second team foul against Del Rapids. No shooting foul. Harbin will put it in play. He's in the corner to Venecamp. Outside to Weber to Bryant. Jack Lundy will come out of the timeout. Markley. Going to jump ball. He didn't get it away in time. That last play uh, by the, the Wildcats when they came around back to the weak side with the basket by Venacamp is a play that Larry Luchens has used with great success, especially against Freeman last night. You might watch for it on your uh, television screen. They'll overload the one side and flip the long cross-court pass back to the weak side where one of their men will be isolated. Lundy bounced it off the leg of Oyen, so it's Custer's inbounds. 4.50 to play, being a cap in the forecourt for the Wildcats. Over to Bryant, tipped there momentarily by Henricher. Herman, double teamed, goes to the glass, it's rolling off. Oyen and a foul is called on Herman, his second, second team foul. He's got to be the biggest freshman I've ever seen in a state basketball tournament. And I think the best, too. That kid's a super basketball player. 434 remaining. Davis. Down to Markley. Markley in the lane. Loses control. But have a traveling violation. On Lundy. Del Robbins will put it in play. Yeoman to the corner. Forced the shot up, rolling free. Rebound by Bryant. Starts the quick dribble up court. Goes to the inside the circle. Off to Vena Camp. He fakes, drives the baseline, shoots over Davis. Too long. Rebound, Markley in the lane. Both teams have seen their shooting fall off here in the third period. Custer only one of seven. Del Rapids only three of eight. Davis to Oyen, baseline, good, he's hot tonight. This has got to be his best performance, I'd say, of the year. 21 points, he's averaged only 10. He saved her for the right time. Herman sliding away, getting underneath. Really has to battle, 12 points for Herman. He's averaging 10. Yeoman had to go a little high to control that one, Markley. Back to Yeoman. Henricher. And Oyen draws his fourth foul. 319 to play in the third quarter. It's 50 to 38. Dow Rapids by 12. That could bring on Dwayne Dugard. Here comes Spinnacamp. 
In the corner to Weber. Covered by Markley. Back to Vina Camp. Weber open from 12. Little strong. Rebound underneath. Herman no good. Or uh, Lundy. Herman gets it in. Herman with 14 points all from the field. Markley across the line. Driving the lane. Hooks it underneath the oil and Got it. And a foul will be called. Basket counts, and the foul is on whom? Henrich, like I on believe. Henrich, Henrich draws his third. That's the fourth team foul against Del Rapids. Checking out as Oyen. Dugard is in. Wayne Dwayne Dugard, 6'6 junior. Dave Evans, 5'10 junior, replaces Weber for Custer. Then a camp. Lundy, Evans, up, short, battle for it, controlled, foul will be called on Evans, third team foul against Custer, Custer wants a timeout, 2.28 to play third quarter, 50-40, 52-40, Del Rapids. Being there when you need us, at Zip, that means more than just delivering on time. Dugard will put it in play underneath the Del Rapids basket for the Coyers. The Henricher, Dugard, got it. They don't lose too much with Dugard in there as a replacement for Oyen. Shot short by Lundy, puts it up again at short. Rebound Dugard. Off to Markley. Del Rapids really battling on those boards. Well, they battle hard all year, Jim. They've had to. Yeoman. Markley. Henricher sliding it off the glass. Biggest lead of the night, 16 points. Henricher's first field goal, four points for him. Venacamp. Foul is called on Davis. Lundy checks out, Evans checks out. For Custer, we have Weber back in. Shot up by Vina Camp, the first of two. His first point of the second half. Nine points now total. Ten points for Vindicab. Two out of two from the free line. Neither team has shot a whole lot of free throws. However, Del Rapids five out of 12 the first half. Ch uh, Custer only two out of four. Foul is called to number 41, Vindicab. His first. Fourth team foul against Custer. Markley took a pretty good blow there. Foul call to number 15, Bryant. She's getting a little rough down there. That was foul number four on Bryant. He'll check out and coming in will be Dave Evans. Del Rapids in the one and one. Brian Davis at the line. Got it. He's three out of six now. 16 points for him. He's been averaging a 15 to a game, so he's right around his average, a little better. Minute 27 to play in the third quarter, and a 58 to 42 lead. Del Rapids by 16. Venacamp. The Beecher, Evans over to Beecher. Venacamp, shot 
Rolling off. Rebound. Tipped around. Going to be handled by Henricher. Over to Yeoman. Long pass down court. Intercepted by Herman. Good hustle there. Over to Weber. Lost control of the ball taken by Davis. Lead pass down to Yeoman. Shot up. No good. A follow shot by Henricher is short. Rebound by Herman off to Beecher. Now he'll give it to Benekamp. Under a minute to play. Half a minute to play now in the third quarter. <laughs> Battle for the ball. Benekamp finally comes out with it. Tipped away by Markley. Taken by Yeoman. Good play getting a little sloppy down there right now. The Coyers have a tendency, they have in this tournament, when they get a large lead, to get a little careless. Barkley. To Benekamp. Benekamp draws his second foul. He'll be replaced by Lundy. Barkley at the line with a one and one. Gets the bonus shot. Barkley is two out of three from the free line. That's his first point of the second half after he banged in five field goals in the first half. His 12th point, 13th point correction, 18 point lead for Dell Rapids. Herman up hits. End of the Third quarter, Del Rapids 60, Custer 44. You know that better corn hybrids come from research, but do you know how much research it takes to discover one good new hybrid? At Pioneer, we test 15,000 hybrids each year, but we find only about five that are good enough to go into a Pioneer bag. Sure, it takes a lot of research to produce better hybrids, and nobody can match the Pioneer Corn Research Program, the world's largest. So who do you think has the world's best hybrids? The Dell Rapids Quarriers are eight minutes away from being the 1976 South Dakota State Class B basketball champions. Custer shot only 25% in that third quarter, four of 16, after shooting 55% the first half. Del Rapids fell to 47 percent, but which isn't bad. 47 is about what they've been averaging in the tournament, Jim. Evans controls it for Custer, fires it up, way off the mark. They can't put the ball in the hoop, and you can't win without doing that. Regardless of how good the defense might be, you got to score points. Three second violation. We haven't had too many of those called in this championship game. Benekamp will check back in, replacing Evans for Custer. That was kind of funny, Jim, if you could see it on your screen. Henricker got pinched in there. He had no route out of there. Benekamp in the forecourt for the Wildcats, who took an early lead in this ball game, but the scrambling quarters came roaring back. Herman jumps, shoots off the glass, would not hold for him. Rebound by Davis. Off to Markley. Markley drives left of the lane, a bounce pass to Henricher, brings it outside to Markley again. Here's Yeoman, who's really been cut off tonight. He hasn't had many shots, but the fine player he is, he'll pass off to the open man. Here's Davis forcing it up and hitting. They just don't miss. 16 points for Davis. A minute into the fourth quarter. Beach, or, uh, Lundy shot us off the rim. Here's the rebound. Jump ball. And let's see. We got Yeoman <laughs> and Markley. They won't jump. Looks like Davis and Beecher, Jim. We got Beecher tangled up in there. Yell jump with Davis. Number 33. Ayoe Clemens checks in. He hasn't seen much action tonight. He's he got in foul trouble, Jim, and his absence has been a key, one of the keys to this ball game. I feel. I'm sure everybody feels that. Third, three fouls early in the first quarter, or in the first half, set out most of the first half. Picked up a quick foul in the third quarter. 
Beecher to Clemens. Benacap on the wing. And a Weber. Beecher. Herman wasn't expecting the pass, apparently. So everything going wrong for the Wildcats right now. And they're trailing by 18 points. Brett Yeoman. Down to Markley. Law pass to Henricher. And uh, off the fingertips of Newgarden out of bounds. Or maybe he didn't even get a finger on it at the far end of the court. Custer in the forecourt, Benicamp in control. Clemens up, rolls in. Basket counts a foul on Dugard. His first. The absence of Huey Clemens, the big man underneath, has really been a deciding factor in this ball game. Of course, not taking anything away from the fine shooting and play of Dell Rapids, but it has affected the play, I'm sure, of the Custer Wildcats. They don't look as quick as they did last night, Jim. I don't know how much that Freeman game took, took out of the Wildcats. Markley across the timeline. New guard over Clemens, rolling off, rebound, fought four, coming down is Clemens. They've missed him not only offensively, but defensively as well on the boards. Vena cap the free line, bouncing in for him. And Del Rapids wants a timeout, 5.37 to play, 62-49 Del Rapids. Our job is you, and we won't forget it. You expect more from Standard, and we'll see that you get it. We know you want service, and it's our job to give it to you. We know you want to help keep America clean. So we're the lead-free leader with Amoco Gasoline. And we give you neighborhood tire service with Atlas and Amoco Tires. At Standard, our job is you. At Standard, Del Rappers calling timeout after a couple of quick baskets by Custer, huddling there with coach Gary Crone. Warriors looking for their first state tournament championship. First time in the tournament was in 1942. 43 they lost in the finals. They were here in 71-72 and also in 1952 when Bird Sandby, now at Augustana, was coaching at Del Rapids. Henricher throws it away. Markley tried to make the save. He got to the ball, but he was on the baseline. Dugard checks out, Oyen is in, Oyen playing with four fouls, as is Huey Clemens for Custer. Benacamp to Clemens, over to Bryant. Custer will have to start shooting and scoring in a hurry here to try to make up the gap. Benacamp, he hits it, and it's 62 to 51 as the Wildcats trying to scratch back here. Oyen, 12-footer, short. Oyen rebounds, puts it up. This one's good. That's what you get when you follow your shot. It's what you get for not playing defense, too. 25 for Oyen, an exceptionally fine night. Shot up. By Clemens, no good. Markley comes down with it. Couple of dribbles out of the traffic. Off to Brian Davis. <coughs> Markley to Yeoman. Markley making the move. Cut off there by Huey Clemens in the middle. Oyen. Quarter's trying to get rid of a little of that time, I think. Coming up on the four minute mark. Four minutes to play in the game. 64 51. Del Rapids by 13. Davis, baseline, hooks it up, and he's fouled by Herman. Third foul on Herman. 
See if it's two or one and one here. Two shots for Brian Davis. He shot uh, seven times, hit four out of seven. 16 points, he hits it. 65-51, time running out of the Custer Wildcats here. Davis hits them both. 18 points for Davis. Venacamp. Reverse layout. Oh, pretty play. Nice drive to the baseline by Ted Bryant. Yeoman. Bounce pass to Markley. Almost got away from him. Davis makes another save. Deflection and a foul will be called on Henricher. That's four on him. So we'll have a one and one free shot for Custer. If the Quarriers have had one trouble, uh, Bill, and their one problem in this tournament, that has been foul trouble. They lost three starters in the first game, and last night against Ipswich were in foul trouble, and tonight now Henricher and Oyen both with four fouls. All right, at the line is Herman. One and one. Doesn't get it. Rebound is by Yeoman. Off to Davis. They haven't had many free throws, and those that they've had, they haven't made too many. They were only two out of four in the first half. They've hit only two out of, three out of uh, six in the second half, 50%. You've got to shoot better than that from the free line. Yeoman, outside to Markley. To Davis, bounce pass back to Markley at the baseline. Oyen, he fires it from 20. Good. Boy, he's had the hot hand tonight. He's had a night, is right. 27 points. He's been out of his mind shooting tonight. A timeout for Custer. 2.48 to play. 68-53 Dell Rapids. There is one truly unique accomplishment in pivotal sprinkler systems. A computer-designed water pattern that distributes water evenly so you farm more efficiently. It's only available on Gifford Hills 360, the most sophisticated system anywhere. And Gifford Hills 360 is available right now. Gifford Hills 360, it's the only one of its kind. Okay. <clears throat> Two minutes and 48 seconds remaining in the championship game, 68-53. Then a cap across the timeline. Blocked by Henricher. Picked up by Yeoman. Gets the bouncer. Underneath all alone is Henricher. Poops it in. And the Warriors are putting it away now. Leading by 17 with 2.25 to go. Weber or Bryant. Too long. Rebound underneath. Tipped by Lundy right of the hands of Davis. Down to Yeoman. He got it, and the foul is called on whom? Bryant, I believe. On Bryant. Dewey Clements will come in. I believe that's five on Bryant, Jim. Five on Bryant. Fouls out with 2.14 to play. And scored six points. He's been averaging 12 on the year. Yeoman will try to make it a three-point play. Well, Larry Luchens, as a coach, has had two runners up now and two uh, championship teams at the state tournament. But not a bad record. Gary Crone going to pick up his first. Weber, Lundy. Back to Weber from the corner. In and out, wouldn't hold. Rebound, Evans, fires it up. And it's falling for him. 73-55, a minute 58 to play in the game. Tom Monk will check in for Dell Rapids. Yeoman lost it momentarily. Spreading out the defense now, got the four-corner offense going. 
showing up the clock. Minute 40 to go. Davis outside the Yeoman. Back to Davis. They're going to have to foul, and Weber does. That's his second. Weber is scoreless tonight. Coming into this game, he had scored only 11 points in the two previous games. Brian Davis at the line with a one-on-one. -on -one. He's been there a lot tonight. He shot more free throws individually, I think, than Custer has altogether. He has. Minute and a half to go in the championship game. Benekamp. Shot up. Off the lip of the rim. Rebound is by Yeoman. Timeout is called by Del Rapids. Minute 16 to play. It's Del Rapids 73, Custer 55. I don't know a tweeter from a woofer from a twoofer. So I bought the Sony Compact Stereo. I just have a good feeling about the name. Maybe it costs a few dollars more, but that's a small price to pay. Listen to this big, rich sound. Say, miss, that's beautiful. Can you and your Sony come to a party tonight? See Kuntz Brothers, your Sony dealer in armor, town and country appliance in Yankton, or Brody's certified appliance in Sioux Falls. Del Rapids section taking a little poking fun at uh, Bruce Connolly of the Argus. Eat your heart out, it said Bruce Connolly. Big sign up there. Del Rapids controlling the ball. Oya to the corner. Back out to Yeoman. And to Markley now. Markley driving the lane. Hooks it to Henricher. to uh, Monk, Oyen, under a minute to play now, and Del Rapids will be the new 1976 state Class B basketball kings. Yeoman is fouled by number 21 to come in, Greg Evans for Custer. Coach Gary Crone is clearing the bench now. Number 21 is in there for Custer, Greg Evans. 52, Richard Markley in for Dell Rapids. Both teams clearing their benches now. 31, Jim Nichols in for Custer. Number 40, Gary McKee for Dell Rapids. 14, Jeff Jorgensen. Number 50, Craig Dibadal. 38 seconds counting down. We're in the gut lap right now. Markley shot up no good. And the reserves battling. Number 12, Chris Rasmussen in. And everybody's seen action here in the championship game. It's been that biggest spread. 73-55. Half a minute to go. And the morning will ring here and there'll be Joy and Dell Rapids tonight. Up the court is Greg Evans for Custer. Out to Beecher. Long shot, no good. Tipped around, going to be handled by Gary McKee. Now it changes hands. Bad pass into Jorgensen. Have a jump ball with six seconds. I need another. The tip, controlled by Rasmussen. Loose ball, long pass up, hits the backboard. The ball game is over, and let's go down court now to Brian Bjorke. Thank you, Jim. We're down here with the uh, two coaches, Gary Crone and uh, Larry Luchens. Larry, first of all, it was a tough ball game for uh, you boys. You, you just couldn't seem to put it together. We uh, we didn't play well. I give all the credit to Gary Crone's outfit. They played an outstanding basketball game. They sure deserved to win. There's no doubt about that. What didn't you do that you needed to do? We didn't play together defensively. We gave them too many easy shots, but maybe they you know just they, they earned them. They deserved them. Uh, 
Uh, we got no excuses. We didn't we didn't play as good as we could. Nice ball game, son. Uh, they outplayed us uh, tonight. There's no doubt about it. Uh, we've, we've had a great year. I don't take anything away from my kids. Uh, it just wasn't our best ball game. All right, you've got a young ball club, Larry Luchins. You could be back in it next week. We sure plan to be back here, right here at the same place, same time. Okay, thanks, Larry. You bet. Looks like you peaked again today. I think we did. Gary Crone, uh, congratulations on uh, your uh, State B victory. Thank you very much. We're pretty proud of these kids. I just, I don't have a whole lot to say other than I am tremendously thrilled for these kids. They are one heck of a bunch of ball players. Gary, what, gentlemen. What did you do right tonight uh, that uh, caused the victory? Everything. Gary, let's move out here a little way so everybody can get a good look at you around your ball players here. Gary, uh, did you expect it to shoot as well as you did? Well, I don't know. We just, we shot well, I know, but I think we just, uh, our kids like to play under that pressure, and the pressure was there. Custer is a whale of a ball club. We outshot them, I think, and I think the thing, the whole deal is that so many people have been discrediting us as a ball club, not looking at our defense, and our defense is the cue to us. Well, you, uh, you uh, weren't expected to be here in the first place. It no. had to be a pretty sweet victory. It is. It tastes good. Good. Congratulations, Thank Gary Crones. Back up to the booth. Presentation out of the Custer Wildcats. That was Doug Herman. Now here comes Huey Clemens of the Custer Wildcats who gave it a real goal. Rod Weber. Rod uh, Weber. He uh, wound up scoreless tonight, but played a good floor game all the way through the tournament. Ted Bryant, the other starting guard for the Custer Wildcats. He had uh, six points Brian tonight. Beecher. Brian Beecher, who did some good reserve work. He's a senior, but he lost to Coach Larry Luchin's Wildcats. Brad McLaren. Brad McLaren, another reserve. Jim Nichols. Jim Nichols. Bill, uh, Biz uh, Bill Osmond from Lead, a... Uh, Former coach at lead and has had uh, some ball clubs in the state basketball tournaments on the board of control now. The South Dakota High School Activities Mr. Association is presenting the awards. And he's had uh, a lot of years with these young people. That was Dave Evans. That was Dave Evans, number 25. This is the big boy, Doug uh, Jack Phil Hespin. This is Jack Lundy. Student manager Tom Walter. Tom Walter. Walton, the student manager. Usually every year they get the biggest hand. We haven't seen too much of that this year. And Larry Luchins will be picking up the trophy, the runner-up trophy for the Custer Wildcats. Larry Luchins, who coached the Smet the two uh, consecutive titles and almost pulled one off for Custer tonight. Fine coach, Bill. He's tough to beat any time. Two runners up now and two state champions. In 10 years of coaching, not a bad record. They almost got the other one in 69. Great guy, Lost too. Out in the final. Okay, but here's where all the honors are due. The Kings of the B for 1976, the Del Rapids Quarriers. Gary Crone, and he's a native from nearby Coleman, graduate of Dakota State, and only his fourth season at Del Rapids. This is only Gary's second year as a head coach. He was at Baldy three years as an assistant. Here's a great boy, uh, Brad Yeoman, fine ball player, had a great tournament. Del Rapids has played tremendous basketball and certainly most deserving of this high honor. Coming through the district, a tough Mike region. Randy Markley. Randy Markley, he did a great job for Dells through the tournament. Great floor leader. Jeff Jorgensen. Jeff Jorgensen, one of the reserves. Tom Monk. Gary McKee. Gary McKee, another uh, reserve. Wayne Dugard. Wayne Dugard. He came in when they really needed some help. That first ball game really helped uh, Dells. Craig Dibdahl for Dell Rapids, the king of the 1976 B teams. Chris Rasmussen. Chris Rasmussen, another reserve for Dell Rapids. Keith Langer, is it? Is that it? Langer, I think. Langer, yes. the student manager. Couldn't catch the name. Little guy. That's and a thrill for those student managers, too. And the coach of the winning Del Rapids Quarry, Gary Crone. Gets a great half for the Del Rapids section here. 
brought his team in here. Nobody gave them too much of a chance. And a lot of the experts said they might not win their first game, but they came all the way. And Del Rapids, St. Mary's getting into the championship last year. A great tribute to that town of Del Rapids, getting two teams into the finals in consecutive years, two uh, schools in a small town like Del Rapids, and the Del Rapids public team pulling it off, winning the championship over the Custer Wildcats, 73-55. Don Flake of Cemento, the vice chairman of the Board of Control, making the presentations to the Custer or to the Del Rapids Quarriers. So let's look at the scoring, uh, Jim, in the. Uh okay, we're all set with the scoring. So let's look now for recap as the Nets come down at the arena. For the Del Rapids Quarriers tonight, Randy Oyen with a magnificent scoring performance, 27 points for Randy Oyen, the 6'4 senior who bows out this year with a great career at Del Rapids. He was followed by Brian Davis, who chipped in with 18 important points, 11 of those in the second half, 13 for Randy Markley, 6 for Mike Heinricher, uh, 5 for Brett Yeoman, who was held down tonight after leading Del Rapids in scoring for most of the game. Two apiece for uh, Tom Monk and Dwayne Dogard for the Del Rapids Warriors, who hit 60% of their shots from the field, 30 out of 50, and 62% of the free line, 13 out of 21. For the losing Custer Wildcats, and a great effort, it was uh, Doug Herman, a freshman, leading the scoring with 16 points. Kurt Vinacap held down uh, pretty much uh, in the second half, well, about even, Stephen. He had 14 points total, six coming in the second half. Set eight points for Dave Evans, seven for Huey Clemens, six for Ted Bryant, and four for Jack Lundy. They shot 42% from the field, 25 out of 59, and hit 50% of the free tosses, five out of 10. So the Del Rapids Quarriors get it back to the Del Rapids uh, town where Del Rapids St. Mary's almost pulled it off last year. The public school did it this year, Mike, and it's a great tribute to that uh, town of Del Rapids. It certainly is, Bill, and uh, the Quarriers did it tonight with 60% shooting from the floor. They hit 30 field goals out of 50 shots for the game and even 60%. Custer not bad, but they fell off considerably in the second half. They shot 55% in the first half when the game was close, but could manage only 30% shooting in the second, nine of 30. And the Wildcats wound up 25 of 59, 42%. The Coyers also won the rebound battle, 37-27, led by Oyens eight, Davis seven, Markley six, Yeoman five, Hinnerker four. For the Wildcats, Herman the leading board man with five, Clemens and Bryant had four apiece. Turnovers, Del Rapids 18 and Custer 15. That's not bad in the ball game. We'll be back to give a complete wrap-up of the State B Tournament right after this word. The latest Sony product is Betamax. Popular science calls it fantastic, amazing. A complete Sony console package with color TV, a K-set TV video recorder, two tuners, and a digital clock. Record your favorite TV programs and build your own library. Watch one channel and record the program on the other channel. Set the clock to record a program when you're not even at home. It's quality, like in Sony. See Kuntz Brothers, your Sony dealer in armor, town and country appliance in Yankton, or Brody's certified appliance in Sioux Falls. Zip dealers have a new program for you livestock producers. It's called Quality for Less. It means the same high quality zip feeds in totally new programs at less cost to you. Zip is introducing new programs for beef, dairy, swine, sheep, and poultry. Programs providing birth-to-market feeding with options for breeding, lactation, disease control, and it's all quality for less. From Zip, the brand you can trust. Well, a climactic 1976 South Dakota State Beat Classic as the Del Rapids Quarriers reign as kings defeating Custer 73 to 55 in a game that started off as a real dogfight but the uh, 